In today's video, I will teach you how to trace images in GIMP. Let's get started. To trace an image in GIMP, first, you need to open up your source image. Once it's open, you will not only see it on the canvas, but you will also see it as its own layer on the Layers panel. The default location of the Layers panel is on the lower right side of the editor. If the Layer panel is hidden, you can simply go to the menu bar, Windows, Dockable Dialogs, and select Layers. Or simply use the shortcut key Ctrl L. GIMP has one layer listed in Layers panel, which is labeled using the file name of your original picture. Now, go to the bottom of the Layers panel and click the Create New Layer icon or simply use the shortcut key shift Control n Once the Create New Layer dialog box is open, you might get overwhelmed with the number of parameters that you can change. But don't worry, you only need to make sure that the Mode option is set to Normal and the Fill With option is set to Transparency. This is optional, but to organize your layers, Especially if you're working on multiple layers of sketches, you can change the layer name and even set its color tag. Now, once you're satisfied with the layer attributes, you can now click OK and make sure that the tracing layer is selected before we trace the image. Now, to trace the image, GIMP offers a wide variety of brush tools for beginners and even for artists. But first, you must figure out what kind of tracing method you would like to do. If you would like to make a silhouette of your project, you can simply use the Stroke Select tool to trace the outline of the subject. Then use the Bucket Fill tool to fill the selection with a solid layer. But if you would like to sketch out your subject, you can use the Brush tools. For beginners, you can simply use the paintbrush tool as it is the easiest brush to use and you can easily customize the brush that you're using. In the Tool Options panel, you will see different parameters that you can customize to achieve the brush effect that you're looking for. Now, if you would like to use something more realistic, you can simply switch to the My Paintbrush tool. My Paintbrush was added to GIMP in version 2.1 and used a significantly more advanced open-source painting engine than GIMP's paintbrushes. It's not just for painting, it also contains settings for more traditional drawing and sketching materials such as pencils and charcoal. Now, just take your time sketching and make sure to add more details and shadows to your sketch to give it dimension. If you find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you want to see more tutorials, turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we upload new videos.